Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the AME Food Testing Show. Today's guest is Eduardo Castillo. He is a technical support specialist with Center Field in Mexico City, Mexico. Eduardo graduated in engineering from the National University in Mexico City, also called UNAM. He worked as an automation engineer at Siemens in automated processes. In 2001, he worked as a support engineer at Sistemas Neuromaticos de Envios. In 2002, as a service representative at Teletech for Charter, Accucenture, and Satmex projects. From 2010, he's worked at Senior Field as a technical support specialist engineer. Eduardo, would you like to update us about your topic, the activity, water activity meter, and food safety? Sure, sure. Okay, thank you for the interview, Handy. I'm going to talk today about the, um, as you said, water activity, the importance of water activity measure for food safety, the importance of water activity measure and, and in food production too. Um, water activity um, is the relation of any food steam pressure and the steam pressure of pure water at the same temperature. Water activity is a measure with a direct relation with the moisture of food and because of this allows to determine its conservation capacity, microbial growth, and physical and chemical properties. In 1957, a scientific named Scott discovered that microorganisms don't grow at certain level of water activity. Therefore, the measure of water activity has become very useful. Since this parameter gives us uh, the necessary information for the uh, prices of food, drugs, and cosmetics, that is to say stability and safety about microbial growth and decomposition velocity because water activity is a very reliable measure to analyze food. The Kagon devices Inc. developed the Aqualab electronic devices to read water activity with accuracy in food, drugs, and, and cosmetics. So what is water activity anyway? How does it work? Well, uh, as I said, um, any any food um, release um, steam pressure, and when there is interchange of uh, steam pressure uh, within the food and the air, and what we do to measure the water activity is to um, to put a small sample of food into a into a small chamber and a small chamber and with um, electronic devices, we we read the when the equilibrium reach the pressure of the of the steam of the food uh, against the pressure of the steam of the air, and then we read the 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 relative uh, moisture um, in the air and um, well that's the water activity so how does water activity and food production relate yes in food production well um, water activity um, meter um, give us give you almost uh, instant feedback for for, for process control um, an example, um, you can monitor um, the temperature of an, an oven uh, once you read the, um, the water activity of food uh, to check if it's um, over or under cooked. A product is uh, over or under cooked. Um, water activity helps to formulate products with, optimate, with optimum taste, texture, safety and shelf life, um, uh, creating rele relevant specs for each product. Um, also finished products uh, is relay, uh, released based on water activity specifications. You can check um, finished products or you can check um, 
specific products. Um, all, you can also use water activity to check um, on specs, but also a critical control points in hazard plants. So what you're saying is really food safety and water activity measurement can be implemented into the HACCP plan, is that correct? Yeah, that's that's uh, absolutely correct, Jess. So, uh, what, as a, yeah. so what does the technician do? Do they make a measurement reading with these instruments and then record them someplace? Yes, yes. Some of the devices uh, don't record anything, the, mainly the portable uh, this device. Well, only the portable device uh, don't record anything, but all the other devices uh, do it. You can do it um, using a, a computer. You only need to um, to connect a computer to the device, and you can keep the the data. Very good. What kind of instruments measure water activity? Yes. Well, the the instruments that we have. Um, are the devices from the Kagon devices, the, the, the brand or the models uh, are, are the Aqualabs series. They did um, several series. We are handling uh, the, the PAU kit model, the Aqualab Lite, the series three and, and four. Wonderful. What are the relative prices in U.S. dollars in the United States for one of these instruments to buy and then to run them? Yes, uh, the PAL kit is the uh, cheapest. It's around a uh, hundred and twelve. Um, I'm sorry, uh, one thousand and two hundred dollars. The Aqualab Light um, around uh, five thousand um, dollars. This series three has been discontinued. Now the series four is around eleven thousand, and the um, the most expensive the the four uh, TEV uh, around fifteen thousand. So how much does it cost for each test? Well, yes, we we do test in 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 our in the company where I work. Um, every test costs around um, well in dollars around um, around sixty dollars, sixty and thirty dollars. We have to we have only two um two two uh, charges. Um, Very good. So how often? Does a standard, can you give us some examples about food types and the types of frequencies of testing? Yes, yes. Um, yes, as, as I told you, we, we do tests or readings. And I guess, um, well, we, we have a, um, a table where we, we read a lot. Of, we can read almost anything. We can read uh, food, drugs, and cosmetics. And well, the the um, a liquid, for example, um, reach almost the um, the full range of um, water activity is around um, zero point nine to one, or maybe um, maybe. Um, Powder, any powder, or maybe a vegetable is around 0.3 or 0.2 AW. AW is the is the unit that we use for uh, for um, for water activity readings. And for example, cookies. Are around 0 0.4 or 0 0.3. Very good. You know, in your company, you physically go out and you do readings for clients. Do any of the clients buy these instruments for themselves and have in-house personnel run them? Well, and 
we do we do readings in in our lab, and we we sell the the instruments. We um, we train the customers uh, who buy the the products about how to use the products and how to make the readings. And we also provide um, full support. Uh, I mean, technical support and and training support to to the customers. Well, without giving any names of your clients, what kind of clients do you service? Well, basically, the the um, food products factories uh, of food in the whole country, the whole Mexico country. So what kinds of products are those that they use the meter on? Oh, the bread, any type of, of bread. We can measure meat, fish, or meat, or um, cosmetics, like soap, powders, um, marmalade, pretty much um, any type of food. Very good, uh, Engineer Eduardo. Would you like to let us know about some of the other services that Senior Feel offers and other products? Sure. Well, um, I can give you more details about the uh, about the instruments. Um, I, I uh, and also all the services we we sell any any all the consumables related to, uh, to the equipments. We handle standards of verifications, uh, standards of verification, uh, cleaning kits and sample cups. And and well, we sell all the devices. We provide support. Um, like maintenance um, and we cali we uh, do electronic calibrations to the equipment. The equipment must be calibrated uh, every year, and we do the calibrations um, in site. Uh, we usually travel to the to the factories. Sometimes they they send the equipment to the to to the company to our company. Um well, basically we, we do that about services. Very good. So the equipment that you represent in Mexico, is it manufactured in, in the United States? Yes, yes. Yes, the company name is the Tagon Devices Inc. is located in Washington. Very good. Well, Eduardo, I'd like to conclude our interview with allowing you to <laughs> surmise what we've been chatting about, as well as to give your advice to food quality and food safety officers regarding the potential use of this instrumentation in their processes. Uh, I'm sorry, Andy, could you repeat the, the question, please? Okay, I'll break it into two parts. Uh, would you like to surmise or give a summary of what we've been talking about tonight, the instrument and how it can be used for food? Sure, sure. Um, yes. Uh, well, we we uh, have been talking about the um, water activity, electronic devices, um, uh, well, equipment to to read uh, water activity. Um, we handle the PAL kit um, model, Aqualab Light, the Series Three and Four. Uh, from um, the Kagon Devices Inc., the the brand the brand of the of the equipment is Aqualab. It's the name of all of them. And well, um, this read this reading has been very useful. Um, um, as uh, as I as I told you in 1957, um, a scientist um, found that. At certain level of water activity, um, the the, um, the microbial um, growth is is not um, is not possible. Then, um, well, 
because of that, uh, well, uh, a lot of, well, the um, the common devices uh, made the, uh, the device, well, the equipment to read uh, water activity. Very good. That's a great summary. So would you like to close this interview with any closing comments? Um, sure. Um, just only, uh, as I told you, water activity um, is not just a check of specs from research, uh, research and development, but also a critical control point in hazard plans. Water activities and FDA approved safety measurement and, and NASI uh, standard as a reliable measure of microbial susceptibility, water activity data can be used to show compliance and demonstrate product safety. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Eduardo. I appreciate your time and wish you a good evening. Um, I wish you too the same. Thank you, Andy. Thank you.